Here we are at 1925 Shady Falls in Blue Ridge, right on the lake. And first I'm gonna say, this house is uh, much nicer than I thought it would be. One of those pleasant surprises. Really big, and there is five bedrooms. So let's go ahead, check out the first bedroom. Oh, by the way, this is gonna be bathroom for downstairs, full bath. Then here's kind of the master suite, big room, really big room. That is a king and it fits in here easily. Access to the patio or deck. I mean, this is just a big area, okay? Closets on both sides, jetted tub, tiled, sh I mean, uh, fiberglass shower, which is good. Those are easy maintenance, that's what you want. Now, one thing I didn't show enough of is the kitchen. Oh, fireplace, sorry, it's gonna be blown out because of the light. But you get great sunlight in here during the early hours, or you know, pre-lunch. And the kitchen is good, nice materials. Um, also, the washer and dryer is away from the bedrooms, which is cool. All right, so let's go upstairs first. So we got one bedroom on this floor. Look at these live edge stairs. That's something everybody wants, not many people have. Full bath. Fiberglass tub, which is good. Okay. First bedroom up here. Easily put two bunks in here if you wanted to. So you want to increase capacity? You can do it easily here. Two bunks. I would say fits in there easily. Here, you could put a king. I think that's a queen, but you could get a king in here easily. So again, big closet, not that you need it. And it's going to share this bathroom here. Give you another shot of the great room. Porch wraps, or the deck wraps all the way around. And I know you can't see it through there, but the lake is just that way, probably about 300 yards, two, 250, 300 yards. All right, so now we've seen two, three bedrooms. Let's go down to the basement. And here we go. Very well finished, this basement. This wasn't, this wasn't a, uh, a poor man's afterthought. They spent the money here and did it right. Tiled floor, big space. So my thought process would be get that TV up, mount it a little bit higher, right here, pool table, foosball, air hockey, etc. You could put a arcade cabinet over here very easily. You might, might could do shuffleboard depending on how those sliding glass doors open. Uh, oh, I didn't turn the lights on, but you guys can see a bathroom. And bedroom number one. This is the one that's in the pictures with the the boar's head. This is a good size room. You, I don't see why you couldn't put two bunks down here as well. I mean, that's just a little twin bed right there. And I mean, it's swallowed in this room. So you can tell by the size of that twin that you could easily put two bunks, you know, a bunk here and a bunk over there easily. And here, smaller, but I can't believe that's a full but it fits in here. You could put a king in here, honestly. Uh, again, another great, great space. They've got this little chair here. It's kind of awkward, but just kind of shows the, the scale of it. Good size. So, and I don't know, maybe, maybe we'll be able to see when the light adjusts here, the windows are kind of dirty, but just through there, maybe you can see the water uh, right through there. But you got a pretty solid view up the mountains, uh, driving in, it's in a very nice, very nice subdivision. So, great place to be. All right. I will do the exterior video next.